Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on Animation Basics in Easy Animator Pro. EAP is a useful graphics, image, and text animation tool, and you can check this video to learn more about it. In this tutorial, I'll cover some animation basics to help you get started. I'm using the Pro version here, but you can download the Lite free version. Check the link in the description section. Okay, so I'm using EAP version 1.8 in this tutorial. I'm assuming you've watched the review video in which I walk you through the user interface. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use these two tabs, the animation and the presets tabs. And I'm going to start off with the presets tab, because this is the easiest way to start creating fast animations. I'll be creating a separate tutorial to show you how to use presets in more detail. So in this one right here, I'll just show you the basics. So as you can see, I'm currently in the Presets tab, and in this section down below, right here, is where you can apply various presets, or preset animations. So I'm going to apply this very first one, and then I'll click on it to select it, and then click on the Apply Preset button below. So you'll notice that the SVG image starts animating. So let me just stop this animation here. So to show you how this animation works, let me go to the Animations tab right up top. And you'll notice that there are three sub-tabs under the Animations main tab. So you've got the In Animation, the Pause Animation, and the Out Animation. So when I play the animation, so as you can see, this is the In Animation for one second, and then this is the Pause Animation for four seconds, and that is the Out Animation for one second. So let me just stop that. So when I go to the in animation, you'll notice that this world in animation is sort of selected, and you can tell by the lighter blue color here. And similarly, if I go to the pause animation, you will see that this animation right here is selected, jump top right. And then if I go to the out animation, again you'll notice that there is a world out. So if I were to reconstruct this animation from scratch, I would have to go first to the In Animation tab, and then I would have to apply this world animation by clicking on it, and then I would have to go to the Pause Animation, and then click on the Jump Top Right animation, and then I would have to go to the Out Animation, and then apply the World Out animation. So that's how I would construct that animation. So the beauty of presets is that once you apply them, you can easily modify them. So for example, if I were to modify this animation, this preset animation that I've applied to this SVG image, I would essentially go to the Animations tab, and I can go to the In Animation here. So for example, I can extend this duration right here. It is one second. I can just change that to, let's just say, you know, two seconds. And if I play the animation, you'll notice that it's much slower. You see that? It's much slower. Similarly, you can change the pause animation. So I would go to the pause animation, and then I could apply something else rather than jump top right. Maybe you can apply the zoom in exaggerated. So as you can see, that is what the zoom in exaggerated animation looks like. And then similarly, if I want to change the out animation, I can go to the out animation tab, and then from a world out, I can probably change it to overshoot out. And then probably even change the duration to 2. So when I play this animation again, as you can see, it's a slower animation in. This is the now pause animation for 4 seconds. And as you can see now, the out animation is much slower as well, the overshoot. If I just wanted the pause animation, I could essentially just turn off the in and out animations very easily. So I would go to the in animation tab. And right up top here, you see that there's an on button. I can just turn that off, and you will notice that everything is disabled now. Similarly, I could go to the out animation, and then I could click on that on button, and you'll notice that that has been turned off. And if I go to the pause animation, that is the only animation that's left here. So if I play it now, as you can see, it only zooms in. There is no in animation or out animation. It just zooms in. So if you're happy with that animation, you can then just use the 
export button down below here and export it into various formats SWF, MOV, GIF or GIF and MP4. I'll be creating another advanced animation tutorial but hopefully this helps you get started creating your own animations. You will find many more EAP tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.